different types of buildings based on height and structural framework tall buildings tall buildings are buildings having a height more than about 50 meters why do we go for tall buildings tall buildings are needed due to the rapid growth of population limited availability of land and high land price in urban areas what are the major loads coming on tall buildings gravity load wind load and earthquake load gravity load consists of dead load and live loads dead loads is the dead loads are the load of the building itself and live loads are the load from the movable objects on the building wind load act on the building when the wind blows earthquake load shakes the buildings earthquake load act on the building in both vertical and horizontal direction due to the earthquake what are the what are framed structures or the framed buildings framed structures are made of frames formed of columns and beams frame structures are suitable for multi story buildings the load is taken by the frame load from the beam is passed on to the columns then from the columns to the foundation walls are constructed within the frames walls serve as partitions only and does not take external loads from above frame structures are made of materials such as steel timber and reinforced concrete walls are constructed after the frame is completed less labor is required for construction and more skill labors are required for the construction of framed structures next we will see what is load bearing structure or wall bearing structure all the loads are carried by the walls to the foundation there is no column beam frame it is it takes a lot of time to construct it is economical for two to three floors only as the wall thickness increases as the height of the building increase and reduces the floor area it is constructed on hard soil and is not economical for soft soil as the depth of foundation increases it has low resistance to horizontal loads due to the earthquakes and may fail uh, earthwork for foundation is more as compared to framed structure there is high usage of construction materials as compared to frame structure the structure is labor intensive in construction what are the differences between the frame structures and load bearing structures that is the main differences the load from the roof and floors are transferred to the foundation by the walls in the case of load bearing structure whereas in the case of frame structure the load from the roof and floor are transferred by beams and columns to the footing in the case of load bearing structure walls need foundation throughout them and in the case of framed structure footings are required only under the columns and walls uh, may be built on the beams now plans for different floors of the building remains the same in the case of load bearing structure as, and a wall in the upper floor needs one below in the case of a frame structure plans for the different floors of the building can be different uh, in the case of load bearing structure uh, there can be too many openings uh, to too many openings of doors windows and ventilators are not permissible in the case of load bearing structures whereas in the case of frame structure the entire space between two columns can be kept open now uh, in the case of load bearing structure wall should not be dismantled for alteration as the wall itself is taking the load of the building now in the case of frame structure wall can be walls can be dismantled or for alterations now uh, load bearing structure is suitable for short buildings whereas frame structure uh, is suitable for buildings having three or more floors now load bearing structure can have sh uh, short cantilevers only whereas in frame structures large cantilevers can be provided now what are the advantages of frame structure it is fast in construction it is possible to change the position of the partition wall frame structures resist the vibration effectively in the case of earthquake and wind and it is needed for a building uh, having three or more floors 
The tallest frame structure has 160 floors, that is Burj Khalifa. Now, uh, this frame structure is economical for tall buildings. Frame structure requires only thin walls increasing the floor area. And also, frame structures are economical in soft soils as compared to load-bearing structures. Now, uh, in the case of frame structures, we can span large areas. Now, next is uh, timber frame structure. Uh, they are constructed where timber is available in plenty. It is suitable for buildings up to three floors high. Advantages of timber for frame structures are it is light in weight, uh, it can be constructed very fast and no heavy tools or equipment is required. And the disadvantages of timber frame structures are timber is not available easily nowadays. Now here we can see a building which is uh, made of a timber frame now steel frame buildings it is made of steel sections and braced to resist the wind and earthquake forces the partitions and exterior walls are constructed of light and fireproof materials steel takes higher load than concrete having the same area now here we can see a steel frame structures and its braces the steps that are involved in erection of steel structures are first we have to receive the materials, then uh, stacking of the materials and stocking them, and then lifting and placing the steel sections, temporarily bracing the system to ensure the stability during erection and joining, aligning and permanently connecting the members by bolting, revetting or welding, fixing the partition walls of boards, uh, then connecting the cladding to the steel structural frame. And what are the advantages, advantages of steel frame structures? Steel frame structures avail, uh, enable far faster construction as curing is not required as in the case of concrete. Steel is elastic which makes them very good, uh, very good at resisting dynamic forces such as wind or earthquake forces. A wide range of steel sections are available such as the eye section, channel section, angle section etc. Steel frame structures can take any shape and clad with any type of materials. What are the disadvantages of steel frame structures? It requires skill, re uh, skill re labors and it is subjected to corrosion in humid and marine environment. It needs consistent maintenance. It has low fire resistance so that it may soften and melt with the exposure to extremely high temperature during fire and resulting in building collapse. Where do we use steel frame structures? Steel frame construction is most often used in very buildings because of its strength and speed of construction. Large area can be spanned at low cost. Next we can see what are what are what is the concrete frame structures. It consists of interconnecting columns and beams at floors and uh, roof level and walls are constructed within these frames. Shear walls are provided which are white columns like walls. White columns like a wall and they are horizontal, they take horizontal forces on the building like the wind load, earthquake load etc. Loads on the floor, roof and loads of the floor, roof and panel walls are supported by the beams and transferred to the columns and they transfer the load to the foundation. Now, concrete slabs, beams and columns are built monolithically resulting in rigid joints. Now, here we can see a concrete structure uh, which is having the uh, beams over here and then we have the columns and these beams and columns are connected at this joint and here we can see the uh, floor slab and and here we can see the uh, small cantilever slab projecting out uh, and here we can also see a column which is inclined to the vertical. Now how a concrete frame structure is constructed? The formwork uh, for concrete is placed then the reinforced reinforcement is placed in the formwork. The fresh concrete is poured and after the concrete has sufficiently 
hardened, the formwork is removed, the concreting of the entire building cannot be done in a single operation and hence construction joints are required to be provided at intervals at the points of minimum shear. What are the advantages of RCC frame structures? It has got very good fire resistance, uh, good weather resistance, then durable than steel and frame structures if we provide uh, proper maintenance and the maintenance cost is also very low. It requires less skill labor for construction. And what are the disadvantages of RCC frame structures? It is much heavier than steel or wooden structure. It needs a lot of homework. It requires curing and takes time to attain its full strength. Thus RCC uh, structures cannot be used immediately after construction and thereby increases the project completion time and cost as compared to the steel structure. So today we have understood what are frame structures and load bearing structures and different types of frame structures. Thank you all.